Hi everybody, it's Sandy from Sandy Beach Bum. So if you saw my last video, I made a wave vase that I'm actually quite pleased with, but there are some improvements I'd like to make. And so I have some ideas about how to do that. So this video is going to be doing that. I'll be making a very similar vase, but with some slight changes to how I assemble it to hopefully achieve the look I want. So let's get started. Okay, so I've mixed my resin. Um, I'm using um, art resin. I've mixed two thirds of a cup here. And now I'm going to mix my colors. So I'm using uh, Cobalt Diamond Blue by Black Diamond. And I'm reusing my cups from yesterday. So I showed um, you know how I cleaned them out. And now I'm going to use some powder. I'm using less than I used yesterday. I think yesterday I was a little heavy handed with the powder. This is Caribbean Blue. And the third one is turquoise diamond effect. Now yesterday I also mixed a white, but I'm not going to do that today because this is one of the changes I'm going to make. I found yesterday that the white blended in far too much with the blues and I didn't get a real white defined frothy edge to the uh, bowl that I wanted. So I have a new idea of how I'm gonna go about doing that today and we'll get into that a little bit later. Right now I'm just gonna mix up my colors. Considering that I'm not mixing the white right away, I probably mixed too much of this, but I found yesterday it stayed fluid for quite a while, so I'm not too terribly worried about that. I think I'll be able to use it when the time comes. All right, so I'm just stirring up the color pigment into the resin. I got two new mats in the mail today. I ordered two more because I wanted to see about um, I wanted to see about doing more of these bowls at a time and I really like using the mat instead of cling film or uh, any other backing to pour on. The mat worked fantastic. So if you're wondering about that, go ahead and order yourself some silicone mats. There's ones that are designed just for crafts and you can get that. I find this one works fine. Um, if you prefer a white background, then you might want to get the craft one. Okay, here we go. We're going to pour. And again, I kind of liked what happened yesterday. I'm going to do a little more dark blue today. I want a bigger dark blue area. Now this is spreading a lot faster than it spread yesterday because... I haven't put as much pigment in, so it's really spreading quickly, actually. Okay. Let's see how much that spreads before I keep going. Okay, I think I'm going to wait about 15 minutes and come back and start pouring the rest because I'd like it to set up a little bit so it doesn't spread too much. So we'll be back. All right, it's been about 12 minutes, uh, about as long as I can stand to wait. So we're going to pour our next color. 
just want to make sure I'm doing this in the right order. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just moving it around a little to give some interest. Um, you know, I was thinking about this this morning as I was looking at the other bowl I made yesterday. This would look really cool as flames as well in orange and red and yellow, which I just might do because some people are into campfires and might really like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to torch this a little bit, but I don't mind the bubbles because I'm actually, I like the bubbles. It makes me think of, um, it makes me think of water. I mean, water has bubbles. And when people make these sorts of sculptures in glass, they have bubbles. So I'm not too worried about the bubbles actually. Okay, that's it for now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to clean up those couple of drips. Just taking um, a little bit of alcohol on some paper towel. And I'll wipe those drips off. Here just to get smudges off. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let that cure for about I don't know, maybe two hours. And then I'm going to come back and add the white. Uh, froth of the waves around the edge and I'm also and this is a real kind of test of how this will work but I also want to try doing the white cells up the wave yeah I've seen that done on resin that's cured and then you pour more clear and the white and it works but I haven't seen it done on partially set resin so we'll see all right be back in a few okay I forgot to start the camera sorry I have mixed um, some stones and some crystals with uh, resin that I just mixed up with some white pigment and uh, now I'm putting that all along the edge of this that has been drying for about an hour. I'm going to run out of these rocks, I think. So that's a problem because I ran out of the clear little um, 
actual polished rocks. I put all I had left in here. I've ordered some more. Um, I found a place in Canada that sells uh, not actually the rocks, but crushed, polished um, glass, recycled glass, which I um, thought that would be a good alternative to the rocks. I would like more dark blue here. I find that this the Caribbean aqua blue flows into the dark blue and I want more dark blue. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'm going to add some more dark blue to the top and then I've mixed up some more white, a little bit of resin with, um, with this. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. It just takes a little bit. It's opaque pigment concentrate for epoxy resins. And then this is an alcohol ink. And you mix a tiny bit of that, and I do mean tiny bit of that, in with the white resin, the resin you've mixed up with the pigment. And then it gives it the cells. And I want to have this more blue with some white froth cells coming up like a real wave would have like some frothy cells okay I've mixed a little bit of resin here uh, two ounces I'm going to take the cobalt diamond blue the dark blue Going to do some more of this white. Doesn't take very much. Little goes a long way. Then I'm going to add just a drop of the alcohol ink. Okay, let's hope this works. 
it doesn't, it doesn't. I have to remind myself this is just all an experiment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this blue on here. Hope it sits on top rather than goes out everywhere because I don't want it to go out everywhere. I don't want it to push what's there already out. That's why I've had this sit for a while. I'm just going to spread it out. Okay, I'm going to try spreading it with this. I think this will work better. Now, what I want to do, and here's where it's going to get interesting, is try and make these cells. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it with a straw. Let's see how that works. Now I forgot, I was actually going to try this with India ink instead of the pigment for this top layer so you can see the color through and I forgot. That'll be cool to try that on another one, see if that works. I'd like to see more lacing rather than just sort of swirls. Well, that's a bit better. I mean, it's not really getting the cell look to it, but it is looking a little different. Let's try just firing this on it for a second. All right, well, not quite what I wanted. I wanted more cell. Oh, look, it is selling a little bit. Ooh, ooh, maybe I should put more heat on it. Let's try a little bit more.
I was thinking maybe I needed to use more of the mineral or the, uh, what is it called, the alcohol ink? But maybe not, maybe that'll do it. It's still not quite what I wanted, but it's getting there. So that's, you know, it's an improvement, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of this, well, not the rest of it, but bits of it. I'm gonna put it around the edge because I want a wider froth than I'm getting. So I'm just gonna blob, well, you know what? Maybe I'll wait till this thickens up a bit because I don't like the way that's running into it already there. Yep, I'm gonna give it a bit and then I'm going to add some more white so it looks a little frothy around the edges. And then let it sit for a few hours, and then we'll try molding it. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I have to say, I'm a little nervous, but I'm also a little excited. Okay, let me just go in close so you can see it. It's pretty cool. All right, see you later. Okay, this is set up pretty good for the most part. Um, it's still a bit bendy. It's very heavy. I think we can go ahead and put this on the bottle now. So again, I'm using the same bottle from before. It's a wine bottle taped to an Ikea milk bottle. Sorry about my voice. I'm just really tired. <clears throat> I've been having trouble importing my movies into iMovie. Uh, they go in, but then there's no sound. So it's been very frustrating evening trying to resolve this. And so far, I've had zero luck. So, yeah, I've been a little... A little frustrated tonight. A little frustrated, I have to say. Okay, so this is set up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, so I have my tape. I'm just going to try and manipulate this a little bit. Pretty stiff. it we're gonna leave it at that let's see what happens to it overnight see if we get anything at all that resembles something that anybody would want to display and yeah so I'm thinking that using the silicone mats Maybe not such a great idea if I can't tape them. I need to see if there's some kind of tape that will stick to silicone. All right. It's late. I'm going to bed. We'll see what this looks like in the morning. 
All right, I'm having a little trouble with the gimbal my phone sits on this morning, so if it all of a sudden goes sideways, the picture, that's why. So we're all set up here enough to, there's still movement in the piece, but it's set enough to take off. I took the tape off last night, um, but now we can take it off the mold. This is a heavy piece, much heavier than the other one, due to all the, the amount of rocks I put on to get that white frothy look. All right, let's just tip this down. And set about taking it off the silicone mat. has really stuck right along here and this is where I pulled back some of the resin that was seeping further than I wanted to while it was quite dry so that's uh, probably why it's sticking there because the resin is thinner now there's a couple of spots inside here I don't know if you can see where it's really stuck, really stuck, and there's, I don't see any reason for it. I don't know why it's different there, but man, is it stuck. And I think it's going to tear the mat, which makes me sad because, oh yeah, it's, yeah, it tore and it left a piece behind. Oh, it's tearing here too. So these mats aren't, you know, pennies each. They're 17 18 dollars for two of them which means that this is way too expensive to keep doing this so this is the second mat now that i've torn doing this and i thought it was because the other mat had some resin on it from a previous project and that had stuck but obviously that's not the case because this was a brand new clean mat had never been used and it's sticking terribly sticking so much I don't even know if I'm going to get it off. Not the greatest result there. So there's some edges here I have to cut. I love the result, but with all these bits of blue inside from the mat, it's definitely not something that could be sold. Definitely not. Hmm. 
It's a shame because I really like this. I love the look that I've achieved with the crystals being so thick and white. I think it's really pretty. Look at that, that's just beautiful. But it's got big chunks of right here. One down there. It's all in that one wave. It's all in the same. Oh no, there's one over here too. It's like wherever I scraped back. So you can't control this stuff while you're working with it or it will stick to the mat, whatever you're using, because I'm sure this would happen with cellophane or whatever. So there's another thing I learned is keep your hands off it once it's poured. Let it be free forming and do what it wants. I'm a bit too much of a control freak, I think, to allow that to happen. I remember I took I took a watercolor class once and the teacher said to me, you need to be painting with acrylics because you don't let want to let the watercolor paint do what it wants to do. You need to control it and you need acrylics. <laughs> and I think I'm the same here. I'm I need to control the form and then I get the, into this trouble. I really love the the way this turned out. I think that's beautiful. I put it down and a little piece of the resin I cut off stuck to the bottom and I cannot get it off. There. Oh, almost got it there. Picked up some other stuff too because now it's feeling a bit rough where it didn't feel rough before. I think maybe it picked up some glitter that was still on here. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, there it is. Warts and all, warts and all. <laughs>